Assalamu alaikum guys my name is Mahanna Ghanim and welcome back to my channel This is an extremely informative video on exploring Egypt which is one of the most ancient and powerful civilization with mind blowing pyramids museum full of mummies 4000 year old temples river nile cruise hot air balloons and much more that's why egypt deserves to be on your bucket list in this vlog i will be sharing detailed 12 days egypt itinerary with cost breakdown of hotels taxi activities scam alerts so you don't get scammed in egypt and have a good idea of pricing system in egypt Day one, flight from Bahrain to Egypt. The airline I chose was Saudi Airline, which costed me two hundred twenty-five dollars per person. Visa is on arrival for many countries, and I paid twenty-five dollars per person. You have to take visa sticker from bank counters in the airport before you enter the immigration. Do not bring too much Egyptian pounds from your country. Bring only few for the Uber and SIM card. Rest all bring in dollars. Your passport is needed during the currency exchange. Buy SIM card from airport. I took Vodafone as it has amazing coverage in Egypt. I paid 500 Egyptian pound for 40 GB and 250 Egyptian pound for 18 GB data. Most important, if you want to save ton of money, do not take taxi from airport or book taxi online from an agent. It is total rip off. Instead, use Uber when in Cairo, which is most affordable and cheapest taxi option. For day one, I had booked a hotel in Giza, right next to the pyramid. The hotel in which I stayed was Hotel Hayat Pyramid View, and I paid 107 dollars for three nights. Best part you can watch light and sound show from the terrace itself and it has a beautiful terrace. Total cost for day 1 was 4227 Egyptian pound or 140 US dollars. Day 2 we took a tour package for pyramids, Memphis, Saqqara, Papyrus and perfume museum with English guide and paid 70 dollars. The this tour package excluded entrance ticket. But if you want to go inside Khufu pyramid you will have to take another ticket for the Khufu pyramid and the guide will not come inside with you so if you don't need a guide all these places can be visited in Uber and you can save a ton of money After visiting the pyramid we moved for the famous camel ride where tourists get royally scammed so make sure you pay only 250 Egyptian pound per person including a small child with you Be strict with the camel ride they might say that you are a tourist and you have to pay a different price so tell them that you have already done this trip earlier and paid similar price To see the detailed vlog on pyramids click on the i button above. Saqqara pyramids foreigner pay 180 Egyptian pounds or 6 dollars and Arab nationals pay 100 Egyptian pounds or 3.5 dollars. To know more about the Saqqara pyramid click the i button. For Memphis entrance foreigner pay 80 Egyptian pounds or 2.5 US dollars, Arab national pay 30 Egyptian pounds or 1 dollars. Total cost for day 2 is 106 US dollars. Day 3 we used our Uber to go to the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization where they kept 22 mummies along with the mummy of Ramses II the pharaoh of Musa alayhi salam the ticket price for this museum is 240 Egyptian pound for arab as well as for the foreigners and kids under 4 are free to have a virtual tour of the museum of civilization click the i button in evening we took uber and went to a mall and there we went to the museum of illusion the ticket price for this museum was 250 Egyptian pounds and kids under 4 were free to see the fun video of museum of illusion click the i button above total cost for day 3 was 1580 Egyptian pound or 51 dollars day 4 we took a flight from cairo to aswan which costed us 45 dollars per person then from aswan airport to kfc aswan we took a taxi for which we paid 250 Egyptian pounds now be extremely careful as taxi driver at aswan rip you off with extremely high prices then we took a budget hotel in aswan for 1300 Egyptian pounds for two nights. As soon as we reached Aswan, we took a trip to Nubian village. The boat ride to Nubian village was 400 Egyptian pound for a two-way trip. It takes 25 minutes to reach the village and entry is free. I'll share the boat operator's number in the description below. To know more about the colorful Nubian village, click the i button above. Total cost for day 4 was $103. Day 5 we took Abu Simbel private tour for 1800 Egyptian pound which included pick up and drop off in a good car English speaking guide. On the way we had breakfast for 100 Egyptian pound. It was 3.5 hours drive. The ticket for the temple was 30 Egyptian pound for Arabs and foreigners. 260 Egyptian pound to see how the temple of Abu Simbel was relocated click the i button above total cost for day 5 was $64 dollars day 6 7 8 we took a 3 days and 2 night river nile cruise for $240 dollars for the whole family and kids below 6 were free so this included breakfast lunch 
snacks and dinner. This cruise had a big pool, billiard and spa facility too. Billiard, we paid 40 Egyptian pound for one hour. As soon as we checked in our cruise, we kept our luggage and had our buffet lunch and went for a fillet temple tour. This tour was for $10 per person and kids were free. This included transport, guide and visit to Aswan New Dam and fillet temple with a boat ride. Excluding entry ticket which was 180 Egyptian pound for foreigner and 40 Egyptian pound for Arabs. For more information about the cruise, click the i button above. On cruise, we stopped at two temples. The first temple was Komombo Temple, whose ticket price was 200 Egyptian pound for foreigner and 40 Egyptian pound for Arab. This was a temple dedicated to crocodile god and falcon head. Here we saw crocodile mummies too. The ticket price are 200 for foreigners and 40 for Arab national. Second, we visited Edfu Temple. From the dock, we have to take a horse carriage which costed us 120 Egyptian pound for the two ways ride. This is one of the oldest temple and apparently it is said that God has designed himself this temple and all other temples were built on this temple as blueprint. It is one of the most reserved temple for centuries as it was buried under the sand. To know more about the mysterious temple of Egypt, click the i button above. Total cost for day 6, 7 and 8 was $275. Day 9 we reached Luxor. Once we reached Luxor, we went for a tour that included Valley of Kings, Hadshiput Temple, Colosseum Memon and Habu Temple, which costed us $10 per person and kids were free. We took one day stay in Luxor in Joseph Hotel in the East Bank which costed us $30. Total cost for day 9 was $50. Day 10 we went for hot air balloon ride. The tour people will pick you from the hotel at 5 am, take you to the West Bank in boat. You can have breakfast in the boat, see the hot air balloon. Remember to take jacket as it will be super cold in January till March. The price for the hot air balloon was $33 or 1000 Egyptian pound per person for a 35 minute flight. From the balloon we saw Valley of King Hatshepsut Temple. Kids below 6 aren't allowed on the hot air balloon but the drivers and the guide will take care of your kids so that you can enjoy the ride. Later we went back to the hotel to get refreshed and check out from the hotel and kept our baggage in the lobby and then we went to visit the Karnak and Luxor temple. It is very important that you download Kareem app because Kareem app gives the cheapest and most affordable taxi rates in Luxor. Karnak and Luxor temple. Karnak temple is for the kings and it is facing the valley of kings and Luxor temple were for the queen and it was facing valley of queens. Isn't that amazing? So from our hotel to the Luxor temple it costed us 15 Egyptian pounds only. Karnak temple ticket was 200 Egyptian pound for foreigners and 40 Egyptian pound for Arabs. Luxor temple ticket was 160 Egyptian pounds for foreigners and 40 Egyptian pounds for Arabs. After completing Luxor and Karnak tour, that same night we had an overnight train from Luxor to Cairo. Price of train ticket from Luxor to Cairo, sleeping class with dinner and breakfast for an Arab is 700 Egyptian pounds per person. Even kids above 4, we have to pay 580 Egyptian pounds for kids for 10 hour journey. Total cost for day 10 was $150. Day 11, we reached Cairo. We already had two days stay in Town View Hotel, which we booked from Booking.com for 1,600 Egyptian pounds for two days. It was a scary building, not so great. I suggest you to stay in Giza hotels. They were much better and clean. Once we got ready, we started our day with the Egyptian Museum, which was closer to our hotel. The ticket price was 30 Egyptian pounds per person for Arabs. In the museum, we saw things related to mummification and how they were preserved and stored. And especially the golden mask of Tutankhamen, which was made with 12 kg of gold along with more Tutankhamen items. Then in the evening, we went City Mall Heropolis by Uber for 300 Egyptian pound. Total cost for day 11 was $64. Day 12, we visited Salahuddin Ayubi Citadel in Uber for 50 Egyptian pounds only. The Citadel ticket price were for Arab. 30 Egyptian pound and for foreigner 200 Egyptian pound. This place has a mosque, military museum and police museum as well and it's a very nice place to visit. First we explored the military museum which was huge artifacts from different era painting jet planes and my kids favorite planes were there 
We took more than two hours to cover the museum. Don't buy plastic covers to cover your shoes. You can remove your shoes and hold it in your hands. This masjid is designed by a Turkish architect to make it look like Hagia Sophia, which is in Turkey. This watchtower was gifted by France in return for Luxor's Hatshepsut's obelisk. And this clock doesn't even work. Finally, we visited police museum and saw their jail. Total cost for day 12 was $8. And total 12 days cost was $1011, excluding food, taxi, tips, shopping and flight tickets. Thank you guys. Hope you loved this vlog. Kindly like, share and subscribe my channel with your friends.